Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here, and today I'm showing off uh, <clears throat> not too much of my new board. I'm, I'm going to do another video later showing off a lot more of this. Um, but what I wanted to show off was this DIY kit uh, that I got off the Ebays for I think it was like seven bucks or seven fifty. These are not very expensive, but you have to assemble the whole thing. You have to solder all of it, and I was uh, pretty skeptical of the quality and if it would actually work. Uh, this thing. It's freaking great, man. Um, as you can see, uh, when the blue light goes off and I uh, press this button here, um, the clock signal is not generated to this. And as soon as I hold the button down for a second, blue light comes on, it generates the clock. And as you can see, uh, I've actually got it uh, very specifically set to 10 megahertz. And this thing is quite accurate. There's always going to be a slight, slight margin of error, um, either in the resistor setting or in this. I'm not worried about a, um, what is that? That's going to be a, what is it, 10 megahertz? That's going to be uh, uh, in the tens place. Um, if I'm doing math right, I suck at math, guys. Anyway, it's a very, very small margin of error. I'm not worried about it. Uh, for a system clock, this is fantastic, extremely accurate, and very nice. Um, the reason I had to use this, uh, this meter is because I have an oscilloscope, but it royally sucks at, uh, frequency, um, uh, displaying the, uh, the frequency of even the cleanest pulses. And I'll show you why. Um, so I'm going to go here. You can see the model number. It's an HP. This was not a cheap oscilloscope by any means. And I'm not sure why it's so bad at this, but you'll see on the bottom right there, the frequency it keeps changing. I don't know what that's all about. Um, if anyone wants to post a comment and let me know why this thing cannot keep a frequency, please let me know. Because my $7 thing totally does. Um, so yeah, $7 well spent. My uh, What my $150 to $200 oscilloscope cannot do, this can. Also, it's got some pretty cool settings. I'll go ahead and just show you. I haven't messed around with it too much, uh, but it does have a zero setting, which is quite nice. There's uh, there's quit. There's, uh, I believe that's no pulse, add, subtract, and zero. Now, there's no manual available for this, so that part's kind of annoying. Um, but I believe the uh, add and subtract is for moving the, the tens place over. And... Um, when I went to the zero function and I held it down and then restarted it, it seemed to be much better calibrated. So I believe that's what that's for, uh, which is great because that means you don't actually have to be fiddling too much with this uh, trim capacitor for the crystal oscillator, which um, that is one thing that the eBay uh, listing says is that you have to adjust this to match the frequency. Um, however, you don't really need to. I didn't uh, because if you just power it up, and uh, go to that zero setting and hold it down, it will it'll zero it out. It'll, you know, the microcontroller will uh, calibrate itself. Very cool. Very, very cool. And uh, yeah, aside from that, it uses a, a real dumb like transistor. So it takes five to nine volts here, it uses this real dumb uh, power transistor to knock it down to five volts for this. I wouldn't recommend necessarily uh, powering this thing off anything other than five volts. Uh, I don't really trust this regulator, uh, setup at all. And, um, that's one thing to keep in mind. This, this is a five volt logic and I would stick with, you know, treating this like five volt logic. Um, also for accuracy and those kind of reasons as well. So hope this video is useful to you. I don't care if you like, I don't care if you subscribe. I just hope you find these videos useful. Uh, feel free to check out my shop. Uh, it's going to be linked in the description. It's also in, it's all over the place on my, my videos. And if you want to buy some retro video game circuit boards, that's the place to go. And if you're here just learning about cool frequency counters and reviews for them, that's cool too. Catch you next time. Sega Sonic fan, signing out.